And developing now, the Trump campaign says they'll continue fighting the election in courts. The Biden camp says that fight is hampering transition efforts. Deb Ralph-Arone has more details from Capitol Hill. CBS News has called Arizona for President-elect Joe Biden. The win puts Mr. Biden at 290 electoral college votes, further cementing his win. President-elect Biden's new chief of staff, Ron Klain, told MSNBC that the Trump administration's blocking of transition efforts is hurting their ability to combat the coronavirus pandemic. The sooner we can get our transition experts into meetings with the folks who are planning that vaccination campaign, the more seamless the transition from a Biden presidency to a Trump presidency can be. The president is receiving a briefing on Operation Warp Speed, the plan to distribute COVID vaccines nationwide. Right now, there are officials inside the Department of Health and Human Services who are busy planning a vaccination campaign for the months of February and March when Joe Biden will be president. Only four Republican senators have acknowledged President-elect Biden's win, but even some of the president's strongest allies are now saying that Mr. Biden should receive intelligence briefings. We should be in the same posture that we were in throughout the whole campaign with both of them receiving briefings as they're both trying to be able to prepare. China is the latest nation to reach out to Mr. Biden to congratulate him on his victory. But foreign nations are having to set up these calls without the assistance of the State Department. A lot of these world leaders uh, know how to reach him. Uh, he is speaking to them. They are congratulating him on his election as president. Meanwhile, President Trump is tweeting conspiracy theories about voting machines changing votes. But the government agency in charge of election Election security refuted that, saying there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington.